If you've been watching some of my videos, you know that I've been in computer networking for about 10 years. I'm currently a network engineer. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to create this video and share with y'all the mistakes that I made early on in my career. For the purposes of anybody that's starting out as a beginner like I was 10 years ago, right? I'm coming in, no knowledge and nothing, no prior IT experience or nothing like that. And to where I'm at now, 10 years later. And hopefully by sharing this, I, I cut that time down for you to become a network engineer, right? Because to get to a network engineer, you just have to have the knowledge and the experience and the skills. And I think anybody can get that. And what I'm saying is I don't think it, it takes 10 years to get it. I definitely made some mistakes. And as they say, we should all learn from our mistakes, right? So After sitting and really thinking about this topic and trying to reflect on my journey and everything, I look back and one of the mistakes that I made when I started out was cert chasing. The company that I worked for, they would dangle that kind of stuff in front of me. If you get the cert, you get the raise kind of game. And even with myself and just trying to develop myself, I didn't know which real path I wanted to do in networking. If I wanted to be a network engineer or if I wanted to branch out and try to figure out and look into another discipline of IT at the time. So I would just take certs and everything and I would just challenge myself to get a certification sometimes. And then sometimes it was uh, to get a raise or or something like that. But at the end of the day, the certs, as I learned, they only are really good for job stuff. It's nothing like, it, it's good to show the employer that you got some skills and everything, but I don't look at certs as something where it's like, I got the hands-on experience, I got the hands-on skills for whatever that I'm working with. It's just really like a general view or even a vendor specific view. If you have a CCNA, then you know everything there is to know about Cisco from that level, right? But if you have a net plus, it's not really vendor specific. You're just saying in general, uh, you know about computer networking. And I think that's what CompTIA is really good for. So that's the first mistake that I said I made is just not knowing what you want to do. If it is becoming a network engineer. No, you don't have to go down to Cisco and chase certs, or you don't have to learn about Juniper, or you don't have to learn about what you have to learn is these complex topics, right? At an engineering level. And then you have to be able to practice and put it in practice, be able to have that hands-on skills and experience. And you can get that totally without any certs. I know engineers that have no certs that know as much as a CCIE but they don't have that cert for a CCIE, but they know how to maintain networks and everything at that level. So the cert chasing isn't really as important as the knowledge game. As I see that that was my one of my mistakes and that was because I was green. I didn't know really what I wanted to do. So that's what I say. If you're gonna chase certs, there's nothing wrong with having certs. Trust me when I say there's nothing wrong. They're great for resumes, they're great for developing knowledge and everything like that. But if you have specific sets of goals, like I want to become a network engineer, then going to get a Juniper certification or going to get a firewall certification just to learn about firewalls or learn about, I went and got a WAN optimization certification just to learn about WAN optimization because one of the clients we were bringing on was using WAN optimizers. And I wanted to learn more about that. But I didn't have to get the cert to learn about that. I could have learned about it from experience. I could have did YouTube University. I could have went to a mentor. There's so many other avenues that I could have done. So that's why I think that that's one of the mistakes that I made is just not having that clarity of what I wanted to do and then chasing them search. And that leads me into the next mistake that I made is just lack of self-improvement, not setting goals, not taking things seriously, just kind of going with the flow, being really passive toward life, not getting active, just chilling, partying, you feel me, doing whatever I wanted to do, but not really focusing on leveling up. I didn't have kids or anything, wasn't married, so not having a sense of urgency, all of these 
things like time management, organization, discipline, all of these self-development things that are needed now that I am a network engineer, I know, and that I have kids and family and everything. Now I know that time management is important. I know that discipline is important. I know that having good organizational skills, you're going to need that when you're working on these complex topics. You're going to have to have your documents and stuff in order so that you could reference different things, have all your resources put together so that when an issue occurs or somebody's looking at you, you always have the answer. Or if you don't have the answer, you come up with the answer soon. And that's what separates you from somebody else that ain't putting in that work of good time management skills or good organizational skills. The employer is going to see that like, oh, this, this network admin always know what's going on or this or let's put him on a project. Now he a network engineer because now he knows how to manage that project and make sure it gets done by a certain deadline. So one of the goals that I've created when I switched my vision to become really good and become this authority in the cybersecurity space is I want to I want to have them fundamentals. If you checked out my previous video, you would see that I'm big on fundamentals, that you need that good foundation. So I think in my personal opinion, Going for the CompTIA Security Plus is just a good general foundation. That way I can get gain more clarity, right? Because I don't really know cybersecurity. It's all kind of is new to me. I think it's kind of new to the industry of IT in general. And there's so many avenues that I'm learning about, right? You could be red team, blue team, or you could even be purple team. Instead of just going to go chase a cert and go be a pen tester, I'm just going to chill, look at Security Plus and just See what really aligns with my goals as far as financial goals and and things of that. And what I really enjoy doing. Is it pen testing or is it defending or something like that? That's just an example of me taking it more seriously versus the mistake that I made years ago, which was just living life fast and all of that. Finally, the last mistake I made was not being involved in the community not hanging around like it was my environment, right? Now that I am a network engineer, I know that my environment has to reflect that same stuff. I can't be at the same places that I used to hang out as I did when I didn't care about studying and I didn't care about being a network engineer. I can't hang out in those same environments with those same people. The people that I'm around now support me right and and my goals and everything and that's what you need is you need to become surrounded by like-minded people you could believe it or not but the five people you hang out with or whatever whoever you surround yourself that's just a reflection of you if they don't have goals if they ain't trying to do nothing i'm not saying that to not hang out with them completely but you might have to limit that time because You need to get around like-minded people that are going to study them four or five hours a day with you to get these certifications and understand this because you have different goals. That's what I'm saying. People phase out because you phasing out a frequency with them. Y'all ain't vibing on that same vibe. It it, it does get into some metaphysical stuff. You really got to understand at a different level of your mind of what you're trying to accomplish by setting those goals. And having a community is is really big. Uh, One of the things that I did as an example, if you don't know, if you like, I couldn't find nobody that wanted to learn about cybersecurity and everything like that. But what did I do? I just Googled some events for cybersecurity events and I found that there was a hacker conference in my area. Then I go link up at the hacker conference, then you meet people, right? Then you network. And then now all of a sudden there's meetups for everybody that's hackers. And now I in a study group for Security Plus, which is helping me tremendously because the people in the study group, they have strengths, right? In in security or whatever with like threats and attacks. They're souped up in that area, but they don't know anything about subnetting and uh, different ports and all of this other stuff for networking. But that's where I'm super strong in. So then it's kind of like an iron sharpened iron. And if I would have had that back then when I started, I definitely would have reached goals or I would have reached uh, this network and engineering role way quicker than 10 years, probably within a year or two or whatever. I've seen it done with other people, right? And it could have been done with me, but again, I just had that lackadaisical approach.
All right, my ninjas, that pretty wraps it up for this one. I just want to summarize everything that we talked about today, the three things that I share with you for the mistakes that I made early on is search chasing. Be careful what search you chasing because them things is a time and a money hole that you could fall into. Don't just stay chasing search. You got to level up. Just go in there and get what you got to get. Get in, get out. The second thing that you want to do is not make that mistake of having that lack of personal development, not setting goals, being sloppy, not disciplined, letting people trick you off your square. All of these things, all of these all distractions, right? Whatever the case may be, if you chasing women, drugs, whatever the case may be, all the kind of distractions, drinking, eating bad, not working out, all of these things that are just throwing you off for your purpose. You want to stay away from that. And lastly, you need to get into a community. Join an online community. Go to Reddit. Go to the uh, Facebook group or whatever, wherever else you can find these communities. Twitter. Get into these communities and get involved. Get active. Go up to meetups. Meet other people that are like-minded so that you don't have to be in this journey by yourself. Because your current set of friends, if you ain't getting your goals, is because they're not aligned with what you want to do. You need to get aligned with more people, create more energy and everything for you to obtain those goals. As always, I appreciate all my ninjas for tapping. In. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on none of the videos that I be dropping. And I'm going to holla at y'all on that next video.